Hey yo, what's up guys? Today we have a list of the things that Karx need to add, otherwise the game will just eventually die over time, okay? So these are necessary to add, and there is no reason for Karx to say no, this is stupid. I'm pretty sure all of you are agreed that Karx need all of these points. Uh, as I probably say in the title, it's 10 points, but it's 15, 16, something like that. Okay, the first one is private room. Dude, I can't emphasize that shit enough, bro. It's been over a year or so that I've been shouting out, bro, add private room rooms the randoms are annoying and it's not even the randoms bro why we don't even have private rooms fam even fucking roblox have private room even cpm have private room even what was the game the uh cheap game we were playing the other day in the highway no, apex uh, racing yeah even apex racing had private rooms bro all the shitty games even new cheap ass android games they have fucking private room add that that is necessary that would make a lot of streamers and all that do more streams on you know because they can manage their stream you know they can like do yeah. a lot of stuff you know i would do way more streams on carx street if there was private rooms you know i would just drop a code everybody would jump in and if someone was annoying i would kick him out the next option is clear hot uh, what i mean by that is uh, we need to be able to remove the speedometer the map and everything sometimes you just don't want it when you're screening it of course you can do it with the glitch i've made a video about it yesterday as well that you could do that with a glitch but it should be there though because there is an option for it as well in the game but the option is just not working you just turn it off and on and it doesn't do anything the next option that we really really fucking need especially for the creator is the replay tool we need to be able to replay what we've done dude just put an option in the game that you records what we did in like any story on a, the phone store so it doesn't really take anything off the server as well and we can replay it you know watch it from different angles or whatever that would really be cool Okay, the other thing is we need a button for turning on and off the lights on the controller. If you didn't notice, Corex, if you forgot, there's no button for it on the controller. So imagine you're sitting back, laying down, playing on your controller, and you have to come close as fuck. And as you have the controller in your hand, you have to point with your index finger and just like touch the foot. And, like, dude, it's just it's so awkward, bro. We need a button for that. Uh, the other one is traffic density, bro. Sometimes you just don't want fucking NPCs. Sometimes you want a bunch of NPCs. You want to cut off or whatever. Why we don't have any option for that? At least in offline mode. I understand that if some devices can't handle it or whatever. If someone's device is shit, they will just turn the NPCs off. So it's win-win. You know what I'm saying? The game will be more optimized for them as well. So we need that. Uh, beside the traffic density, we need to sync traffic, bro. You can't believe how many times I'm chasing my mate. I'm like, oh, they're chasing me and the npc come through them like he just appeared in your face you're playing like fpp or something you can't really see and the npc just comes to your face and like if my teammate has the same npc he could cut it off or like i don't know go around it or whatever and i would just follow him you know or the opposite you know what i'm saying why is it not sync i don't understand it's syncing a lot of GE games that's the valid reason if you ask me beside that dude we need liveries the car is getting boring doesn't matter how many body kits you add, delivery option does it way, way, way better. We are bored of it, bro. You already made a solution as well in the Karis Drift on the PC version that you all fix the lag and everything. So just do the same in Karis Street. Simple. So yeah, Karis, I'm looking forward for delivery option. We also need a drone camera as well, especially for online mode. And especially when you are doing the private room. Like for example, if I'm hosting a online room, if I be able to do have a drone camera and like look around fly around watch other people watch what the fuck everyone doing if we be way better you know why because we can do challenges we can do races we can do like if our if right now i'm trying to make a video and like do some pop or whatever challenge i have to be the one everyone chasing because i can't take others people povs you know because that's just too much or else if if i could just like fly over them and just look at them like exactly how we can do in car x drift like you already have it in your other game just add it here for real inside the drone camera it'd be nice if you have a free look option what i mean by that imagine you are driving forward and you want to just like look behind you yo so uh of course the mirrors in the game doesn't work i know the reason behind it is optimization so it'd be so good if you could just slide our finger on the screen and look behind that would be very very useful um also i don't understand when you are changing the layout of your buttons for any 
type of controller except the controller itself like the gyro buttons or whatever why can't we put the buttons at the top why there has to be a limit why the buttons just can't go over each other and why we just can't like uh, change the opacity of the map or a speedometer or remove them or just move them like they are the same as any other button so we just do that for real also carix really really need to add a character customization dude the bald character it just looks so ugly bro i feel like the guy is like just escaped the hospital you know what i'm saying so we need character customization maybe changing helmets or putting some helmet yeah we don't really need to change the clothes at least some helmet would be very useful another thing why there's a limit for the level and it's on 50 bro that's so low why can't it be like 100 at least at least 100 but carix for you if you're watching this which you are just put it to a thousand nobody gonna reach it till 10 years anyway but there is no limit you know so yeah some people gonna feel like oh they finished the game just cause like they reach the f limit 50 and they're gonna play less as well that's another point i'm just giving it to you for free so yeah but i would love to see in the game that we be able to change the cars like swap differentials from all wheel drive real wheel or front wheel or whatever like for example let's say make the civic real wheel or all wheel you know so you can drift it or race it properly or the opposite let's say we have the gtr we could swap it to real wheel and we could just like you know what i'm saying like you can do in games like forza or yeah that's not really a hard option you know you, you could just like uh all wheel drive your i don't know golf gt and like go drag it with people you know it would be way better you could race it you know a lot of cars that nobody uses them for some reason they would be useful again like yeah that would be a really really game changer also that'd be very nice and good if you be able to change the pov and the fov of the cameras on the third person or third person so for example if you are drifting third person yeah if you could just like move it closer up down left right maybe change the fov or even the first person you know just, just put some arrows you know and when we tap pause the game or whatever we go to setting and we can just like move the camera pov you know what i'm saying that would be really good especially the fov for first person it's so low bro you can't see anything it's so limited the vision so yeah that's all guys uh i can't really think of any other option let me know in the comments if you know anything else uh if it makes sense i might pin it i might not i don't promise and yeah as always if you're new here like and sub would be appreciated at all Thanks for watching, see you next time, peace.